My name is Ashley Bateman. I am the principal of what we have now called the Junior Primary School. My name is Gillian Stain. I'm the head of the Senior Preparatory School, which covers the grades of four to seven. I'm Rensha van Malwijk, and I'm the PYP coordinator for Crawford Reimsach. So since we implemented the project in January this year, we've seen a vast difference. The children feel so much more part of what they, uh, part of the lesson. I mean, they are actually the facilitators of their own learning in this case. So because they are collaborating within groups, just facilitated by the teacher, the input that they're giving is absolutely invaluable. They are developing many skills along the way. They are learning who they are, where their strengths lie, what they still need to work on. For me, the, the most amazing thing with the PYP, with the introduction, I think having been in teaching for 28 years, um, to bring on something new, you kind of think this is quite overwhelming and it's going to be really challenging. And it actually hasn't. I think what's been the nicest thing is that it's come so easily and more easily to the children than to the staff. To me, it's also crucially in, um, important to see the relationship between the, in the learning community. I've never seen a learning community come together like, you, like I've done in this PYP program. And I think for the teachers, as difficult as it was, it's now exciting. We would definitely not go back to where we were. I think that they are enjoying the fact that they are engaging with the children. The, the PYP program allows us to work more closely with the parents as well. It's this connect, connection between the students, the learners and the parents, and that I've never experienced anywhere else. We used to have parents, students, children in a triangle separately on their own, but in this program, it is the relationship and the connection between the learning community is, is something that is unheard of. When they hear the feedback that their children can give them at home, and they can hear the discussions that are happening, and they hear the, the, inquiry, the inquiry, or the way that they are inquiring into things, the value of what's happening here is, is that the children really are taking, in some cases they've said to me, are taking control of their own learning. That they are coming home, there's no more having to prompt them to do work and to do tasks. They're getting on with it and they're becoming far more responsible. And we're finding that the parents are sending us lots of messages and saying this is so impressive and you can't believe what my child did at home today I can't believe this is what they came home to tell me and that's been very different. Some of the parents have also said that the children are finding it a lot more fun and I think where they are really enjoying is that it's not so much teacher input anymore it's teacher led so what are they doing they are giving all the input and they in many cases are actually teaching the teacher a thing or two. They have got voice and choice something that they haven't had before. I think it was, uh, it's definitely a mindset change for all of us and now that we've allowed the children to do that, we are actually astounded by the level of responsibility that they are taking in their own teaching and learning. When you introduce the idea, people are actually pretty nervous about it. But as they sit around a table and collaborate, it's absolutely amazing how just listening to one another and feeding off one another that the ideas come to fruition and they're able to take that and develop a whole, um, you know, a whole program out of it. Now I see the teachers coming together in a planning room. It, the energy and the creativity in, 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 in that room. You walk in with a certain idea where you think the unit is going to go to and by the time you leave, it is, like I say, mind-blowing what the, the teachers come up with. And um, we're so invigorated after that that we can't wait for the next unit to start because we just want to impart this energy onto the students. The biggest difference we've noticed in the children is their willingness to participate. I think we spend our lives as teachers trying to say to kids, give me an answer, what do you think, how do you feel about this? And when they become accustomed to the PYP program, it becomes almost natural. You almost have to tell them to just calm down a bit before they start putting the answers out at you. So it's a case of the children's confidence in their own ability and their knowledge that what they're saying can't be wrong and it isn't going to be judged, that they're just putting the program out there that they are experiencing. And that I think for me, particularly with my age group children, is this willingness to be part of it all the time and not just sitting at the back waiting to be included. The most exciting thing I think I see out of it is to see the development of the children. To see that the children are actually developing skills. Skills that can be used throughout any subject, can be used outside in the real world, in their lives at all times. And these skills, as opposed to learning content, or regurgitating content, they can, they can now actually attempt any task. Why? Because they have the skills to be able to do that.
We, we actually see children that usually would sit in the back of the class, the introverts that would not participate, just blossom. It, they, there's a role for, there's a place for every single child in this program. Currently school, education is very focused on an academic path. And if you're not an academic and you're not out to get straight A's all the time, there weren't really niches for you to excel. But what the PY program does for you is it says you're really good at maths, so take this challenge and run with it. But you know what, your literacy is excellent, so your literacy component can really be built on. So nobody gets to feel like they're not good enough. It lets everybody work to their strengths, it builds up children's strengths, and it also takes weaknesses and it helps you improve on those a lot.